Here we are back again with another episode of the player career mode Sidinho's Journey now in England playing for Crystal Palace. Ah, the alien hairstyle, the blue hair, we've gotten rid of it for now at least. We're just switching back to something more low key. Hopefully that'll help his performances on the pitch. We're going with a regular hairstyle guys because the blue was a bit much. We might revisit that a while later but for now we're rocking this. In other news we are 76 rated right now which is pretty awesome to see. We're still struggling with the week for department. That's going to be the case for pretty much the entirety of the series. But stats wise, a lot of improvements and seven assists and three goals in nine games is pretty good. And we just got to keep that going. I kind of feel like the focus for us this season has to be going on an incredible cup run in the FA Cup, of course. We've got Southampton. I'm definitely going to try and play as many of the FA Cup games as possible because Imagine winning the FA Cup with the championship side. It doesn't happen often. The last time I think it happened, something like this was Wigan Athletic winning, I think, one of these tournaments. So if we could do that, that'd be nice. So let's hopefully go on a cup run. We're also looking pretty good in the championship. Top of the league right now, 65 points, one above Newcastle. So yeah, back to the Premier League next season is on the cards. But if you guys are enjoying the player career mode, I'll try and be more consistent with this series I'll try guys, it's difficult managing the main channel, Twitch and the second channel, but I'll try. So if you guys are enjoying the series, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Twitch is where I record these videos live, so go follow me on there and let's get this started. Okay, we're up against another Premier League team in the FA Cup, this time it's Southampton. If we want to go on a Dream Cup run, we got to get past them. Chance maybe from distance for Cidinho. Space has opened up, finesse shot. Just, just testing out the... The keeper, but that was, yeah, pretty far above the crossbar. I'm really enjoying the uh, Dortmund career mode. Appreciate that, Loken. Oh, Scutron breaks through. He completely messed up. That was that was Southampton's chance to score. Wow, that's a bad miss. He should have just gone for goal and he probably have scored. Oh my god, chance for Palace. They've had the ball for pretty much the entire game. And this time, Kutron doesn't mess up. And I, here I was talking about a potential cup run. We could be getting kicked out by Southampton in this round itself we just haven't even had the ball so far guys it's been all southampton that's the problem playing for the championship team man against the big boys against better teams we just cannot compete and that's why maybe next season even if we get to the prem Cidinho might have to look elsewhere another chance for palace and this time easy save for the keeper but we just we're just not creating anything this way we're going nowhere guys we're going absolutely nowhere wickham that's nice Good pass. And finally, uh, Palace on the attack with Faguli. Looking for that cross. It's decent for Mateta. And yo, we're back in it. For once, a goal has come without Cedinho's involvement. He did have the pre-assist. Mateta with a solid header. Faguli with the cross. Maybe there's a bit of hope. Maybe there's just a slight bit of hope for us in the FA Cup. 1-1. One, one. There we go. Cedinho could look for that pass. Fairly decent for Gallagher. Faguli. Back for Cedinho now. Roulette. That didn't work. Oh, I tried to push through, but they get away. But guys, we're playing much better now. Completely different team after getting the equalizer against Southampton. Could look for some space or could go along alone. Go on, Cedinho. Shots taken. Deflection. It's above the bar. How close was that? Oh, played back to me, dude. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. Don't play to me. Don't play to me. Play to me now. Play to me now. Here goes Cedinho. Bring it inside. It didn't work. Gallagher. Perisic, Mateta, Mateta scores. He's sending us to the next round of the FA Cup. Mateta has just been insane. What a performance from him. He's sending us through to the next round of the FA Cup. The dream continues. What a goal, guys. What a goal. Full time and we've actually knocked out Southampton from the FA Cup. We continue on a dream cup run, boys. Let's see how things go. Let's see how things go, boys. Come on. Hey, there you go. Dribbling, ball control, all going up with the training. I need to be doing this more often. Maybe that's why we're stuck at such a low rating compared to what I think we should be at. Rainy night at Stoke Up next for us in the championship. This is where legends are born, guys. Can we do it in a rainy night at Stoke? Can Cedinho score in a rainy night at Stoke? Time to find out, I guess. This is going to be fun. Unfortunately, it's not raining at Stoke, so... Not quite a rainy night at Stoke City, but I'm going to count it, guys. We score here. Nobody's going to ask that question, you know. Can Cedinho do it on a rainy night at Stoke? Nah, he, he will he will score tonight, boys. Let's get the goal. Oh, Cedinho's already breaking through. It's a good run from Cedinho. 
Ah, he couldn't get past the final defender, but we got a lot of stat boost there. A plus one skill move rating. Now, skill moves are fine, guys. Skill moves are fine. Cedinho with a lovely pass for Eze. Breakthrough. Shoots. That's a big save. What a pass, though, from Cedinho there. Oh, Mateta. Mateta is in the form of his life right now. Everything he's touching is turning into an incredible opportunity at the very least. Close. Oh, chance for Stoke. And well, well, well. Stoke City have taken the lead at home. That's what you happen when you don't take your chances at the other end. The, the rainy night at Stoke meme has uh, got a bit of substance in it because we're 1-0 down at Stoke. Ah, uh, problems. Oh, play it to me, dude. Play it to me. There you go. Oh, I, I already see a run being made. I, I'm playing it to him. Haller, how has he not scored? How has Haller not scored that? I think he's our new signing, by the way. I haven't even realized. We'll check after the game. I don't remember seeing Sebastian Haller in a Palace shirt before this, so... The club have invested well. We'll find out after this game. He missed a big chance there, though. Oh, what a pass that is for Cedinho. Brings it inside. Finds Haller. Can he shoot? Haller. He was onside. He had to control that. We've created a couple of good chances for him, and he's yet to deliver. Still 1-0 down to Stoke. But it's not looking good, guys, because, yeah, we didn't take our chances in the first half, and now we're not looking likely to score. We'll see, though. Still a lot of time left, as Cedinho is using his pace... Down this left side, that's what's been very effective for him. But the stamina is certainly lacking. Difficult angle. And I just couldn't run all the way. I just couldn't run all the way. Ball's cleared. We still have it though. We still have it. Cedinho now. Opening up that extra bit of space. Opening up that space. Fake shot. He still has it somehow. Gets past another. Looks for the pass inside. Do something from it, guys. Please. Let's go. We get the goal. A superb run from Cedinho. Leads into... The next R9 scoring, Mateta. He scored three goals already in this epi. He's killing it, man. Mateta's killing it. 1-1 um, against Stoke. Let's go. Good stop. Cut back inside for Haller. Goes for the cutback shot or, you know, the side foot effort. But a uh, bit of power. Haller needs to be scoring more, dude. For the, for the overall he is, he's got to be doing way better. Etebo looks for Campbell. We cannot concede now. Come on, defense. Do something. Uh, we failed the Stoke challenge, guys. I think we're failing the Stoke challenge. We had the chances to win this. It's always Stoke, isn't it? Stoke are like the Burnley of the championship. Massive well taken against Stoke. We've still got five minutes, but I don't know, dude. Haller had so many chances in this game and he took none of them, dude. None of them. There you have it, guys. Full time and we've taken the L to Stoke. Didn't expect this, guys. I thought we were going to be playing a lot better, but... We had the chances, to be fair. Haller had the opportunities, but he just didn't deliver. Really didn't. And, well, full time, and that's a big L we've taken to Stoke. Got some more training done, and we're now 77 rated with some really good stats. Our sprint speed is up to 83, close to 84. That's good, because we're able to do a bit of pace abusing, which would be nice. But, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. In the FA Cup, guys, we've drawn leads next, so I guess we're going to take the month of February off, and we'll just focus on the FA Cup for a while. Anyway, when we play, we're getting shafted in the championship so might as well focus on the fa cup we're picking up some big wins though in the championship now which is nice make it three consecutive wins come on we do get that so now we can focus on the leeds cup game it's the round of 16 by the way i think we can get to like the quarterfinals guys come on that's the leeds team we're facing of course i love leeds you know we did an amazing career mode with them on fifa 20 calvin phillips is in there the team is not all that op to be fair rafinha is probably like the only and and uh, phillips the only like big players from that team i think we can get them i think we can get them let's see what happens on the pitch by the way yup haler has been confirmed as a signing it is sebastian haler we've actually got an 82 rated striker up top for us so massive signing uh made by palace but it's not paid off yet because he's been pretty average on the pitch let's get into this one and hopefully knock out leads oh we still win it that's the kind of form he is in right now mateta now Cedinho though on the run could he score from here? Near post effort, it hits the side netting. Those normally go in. I don't know why this stamina thing is appearing at the top right constantly, but probably some sort of a weird glitch. But that was our chance to get into the lead. Can't get the ball, dude. Can't get the ball. Shackleton now on it. Still Shackleton. Get it off him. Brilliant. Cedinho gets it, and now we could go ahead. If I can maybe find Haller. It's a good pass for Haller. He's got the strength. Maybe not. Oh, Haller. He's been a bit disappointing, if I'm being honest with you lot. Oh, that's another chance for them. 
We put a bit of pressure on the attacker there. Maybe that's why he couldn't get a proper shot off. To be fair, it was a good save from our keeper. Here we go now. Here we go. cirino has got that extra bit of pace now. He's broken through. Still Cirino Has to score. Difficult angle. Players coming sliding in. That was a great run, but uh, we had to score. What a pass that is. Mateta. He does it again. Nobody can stop Mateta, guys, right now. He's scoring in every game. Palace take the lead against Leeds. We could be in a quarterfinal of the FA Cup, guys. Come on. Oh my god, that is so bad. We just let the ball bounce past everybody and uh, Leeds score. They get the equalizer, guys. It's not going to be so easy getting into the quarters of the FA Cup. That was bad from us, guys. Some random dude called Ripart scored there. Look at it. Look at the ball just keep bouncing there. Oh my god, big chance for Leeds. Big save from our keeper. And no way does the rebound go in. This game is so brutal, guys. I, I swear. How does the keeper save that and then concede that? Look at that, guys. How does the rebound fall? A header from virtually outside the box comes off the post and goes in. New position, centre mid. We've been deployed as a centre mid, but won't matter if Leeds keep scoring. A big save from Gator. We've got 15 minutes to try and get an equaliser. I don't know where it's coming from. We'll have to see. Play it to me, dude. Play it to me. A bit of hope. A bit of hope. Cirino has gone through. Cirino is through, guys. How is he catching up to him? How is he catching up? Finesse shot. Let's go, guys. 98th minute. Cidinho scores. We get the end of whatever uh, last minute goal celebrations. He's actually scored, guys. Come on. We save Crystal Palace at the death. Huge, huge goal. Let's go, guys. We're alive in the FA Cup. I think we're now going to have to play a replay or we go into extra time. I'm not sure. Crazy scenes, guys. The Palace supporters go mad. Unreal, dude. What a moment. What a freaking moment. Look at that, guys. How did the defender catch up to me? I don't know. But I went inside. Finesse shot. Bang. Huge goal. Let's go. It is extra time. We're going into extra time now against Leeds. Make that run. Make that run, Perisic. He could be through on goal. Please score, dude. Please score. No, Perisic. You've scored in, in bigger games than this and you missed that. With all your experience. Perisic, no. Clear it away, dude. I'm just clearing it away as well. I don't even care. End the, end the game, ref. It's going to penalties. It's going to be big. It's going to be absolutely big. We'll see. We'll see if we can go through. Look at the stats. We don't deserve to take this game to pens. We somehow managed to get through. Come on. Let's watch the penalty shootout. First one is a banging penalty. It all depends on our keeper. Pessinho is taking this one. Pessinho misses. Pessinho misses. You'll love to see it, boys. Are we going to get to take a penalty in this one? We'll see. Milijovic scores. We're 2-0 up right now. Come on. Come on. Miss this. Ah, good penalty from Leeds. We're still 2-1 up. Advantage us. Gallagher, put this in, buddy. Put this in. Oh, you idiot, dude. You idiot. He's missed. And Rodrigo's, of course, going to score. Unless my keep... Oh, my God. Rodrigo put that one straight to Mars. Good Lord. And Perisic as well. What am I seeing here? Koch. He misses. Guys, the worst penalties you'll ever see. And Cedinho gets to take the deciding penalty. You guys know I'm bad with pens. If I miss this, I will cry. Cedinho doesn't miss, guys. Let's go. He scored the winning penalty as well. What a night, guys. This has got to be the best episode of the series. Look at the celebrations. A winning penalty from Cedinho. It's done. It's done. We're through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Absolutely ridiculous episode, guys. The pens. I haven't seen more ridiculous pens in this series. It was so dumb. Did you guys see the misses? But I'll take it, dude. We're through to the quarters. Wow. Going to be simming through up until the quarterfinals. We're up against Aston Villa. I've got to say, the draw is working definitely in our favor. I think we can get past Villa in the next epi. Let's look at this, guys. Aston Villa Palace in the FA Cup. Guys, the teams that are left here, apart from Liverpool, who have drawn Spurs, so that eliminates one of the big boys. I think we've got a chance here. I think we've got a chance, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, this is where I think we're going to wrap up today's episode of uh, Cedinho's Journey. A banger episode. Probably the best one of the series yet. Like, it was absolutely nuts. And next episode, we continue with the FA Cup journey. What we might do is we might just play the remaining FA Cup games and that's all. And just focus on the cup because that's kind of what I want to win. So that might be the plan for the next epi. But if you've enjoyed this one, drop a like, subscribe and I'll catch you all next time.